Hey, I was like, the blessings of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. Big trust. Big. Biggest. <laughs> yeah. The biggest. That's what I call the big trust. It's level. Oh, it's levels. And that's Mr. Levels. levels. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Kush, that's Mr. Levels. Cam is Mr. Right. Levels. It's all about the trust levels and the legacy, man. You know, yes, sir. Where this is going. Hopping off the big trust levels. Big, Season big. two. We need it. Gotta have it. Eat I mean, that's, that's legendary stuff right there. Levels. Big trust levels. You feel me? My goal was always, man, how can I prolong my prime? Right. So think about that for a second. Your prime is when your athletic ability and then your knowledge and wisdom within the game is kind of at that same level. So you're operating at this place where, man, not only do I know everything that I need to be doing and everything around me and this experience that I've gained from this game, but I also have the athletic ability to do it. Last year, I felt like that was the first time in my career where I was limited at times. It was based on some injuries and some other things where, man, I just couldn't do or make some of the throws that I was used to making, right? But still, you got to find a way to get the job done. Well, just because I can't make throw, make that throw, make that throw, I just have to think about it a little differently. Maybe it changes my progression a little bit, but I'm still going to get the ball out with trust and anticipation. I'm still going to find completions, still going to get first downs, still going to lead two-minute drives, still going to go win games. Was there ever a time where you like you had a touchdown or a catch in general where you were like, yeah, I'm like that? Oh, yeah, Chief, it was Chiefs game, Sean Smith. Chiefs game, Sean Smith. We was going at it the whole game, and then he pressed me on the slant. It's like mid-game. Field check to the uh, to the little slant. Uh, to the little slant. I'm backside one-on-one. He pressed me, field check to it. I slide out, boom, and he fell. I'm like, oh, shit. He's there. They done <laughs> stuck. They done <laughs> stuck. Because <laughs> nah, I ain't do it. It wasn't nothing the coach had taught, nothing. So he changed the whole route. He was like, when we run the slant like now, we want y'all to be as patient as possible. You just work quarterback, y'all wait. So I'm like, damn, they let me really work like Stevie Johnson. That's because that's who I've been watching. So I'm like, I'm gonna try this. Shit. Bill Stevie Johnson? Yes. Like, Bill he got paid Stevie. Johnson, Stevie Johnson. Get free I'm... Stevie Johnson. <laughs> oh my God. Ryan Fish Patrick, just wait on me, Stevie Johnson. Yes, sir. Hey, I seen that little cowboy model situation you did for uh boot barn. I'm just, I'm just going, I'm going to throw that plug out there. Boy, I seen you in the, in the booth. So. I'm a little ranger. You know what I mean? I look, let me tell you this, man. Marlo versatile now. <laughs> versatile. Hey, I was about to say that. I go, we was playing the Titans. I said, man, I'm going to go get some boots. I was trying to figure out who was going to go with me. Wait, wait, wait. So you didn't, you didn't already have them. You was like, you like a oh, hundred. Today. Went and got them fresh. Walked in the store. Walked in the store. Give me some calf leather with I some said, who can help me? Who can help me get some boots? Because I don't know what I'm doing in here. You don't know what Marlon wearing on Sunday uh, walking through. My dog got the polka dot rain jacket on. That was a <laughs> folks, be, folks be trying to hate sometimes. A wise man told me this. Whatever media coverage you get, ain't no bad. Ain't no hey, bad. Ain't no news, bad pub. News, unless it's, ain't no bad awful. pub unless it's bad pub. Ain't no bad pub. And I've never hit a hole in one. Never. I just want to know, like, have you? I have, yeah. Yeah, how many? That's the question. I've made, I think, like 23 or 24, something like that. Oh, my like. goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what age were you when you first six. pulled out? My, six? My first one. Man, yeah. come I'm on. I'm 31. Bro. I've never – okay. How far was the shot? <laughs> it, was and, it was 144 yards was a driver. It was the only par three green that I could reach. I always loved playing that hole because I, I couldn't get a birdie putt realistically in any other hole, and – and my dad and I went out and played. I think my mom was with us too. And I hit it. And my dad says, as soon as I hit it, I was like, I was like, all right, I think this one might get there. And it like bounced and like kind of rolled around this bunker and went in. It was bizarre. So those of you who don't know, we saw, we talking about songs. It's because my dog Marvin is a real vocalist. Like we ain't just talking about like playful, like karaoke. Even though hey. he do do that to the, with no the best of them. Hey, we talking about my dog really sing. Really, really, My really. dog really auditioned for American Idol now. Hey, like, stop playing. I be trying to tell folks, I'm like, Mar really can sing, sing. You remember, it was after I played the sings. Yeah. It was after I played both of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, like, um, after our game, um, they, they came and they're like, they're like, okay, um, you know, it's your bye week. You know, we're in Nashville. Um, so they uh, hooked up with ESPN, and ESPN um, hit me up, like, 
hey, um, we have an opportunity. Like, you know, um, would you want to go on American Idol and stuff like that? And like, we just lost. We fresh off a loss. Like, you, you know, like, no. yeah. man, you like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that. Like. I said, I ain't doing that shit. I said, no, no way. Like, why he <laughs> calls me, agent calls me, hey, Mar, it'd be a good opportunity. Nah, not the doing it. The worst thing to ask somebody to do something after one of them L's going into a bike, like, I ain't trying to talk to nobody, like. So, like, so that happened, and then, like, um, when I'm on the I'm on the plane home and stuff like that, and I'm thinking, I'm like, dang, I, was like, I might as well, you know what I'm saying? I remember American Idol first came out in the early mm -hmm. 2000s. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. I said, I think I should do it, you know, because it was always on a, a bucket list of mine, you know, when I was younger, so. They flew me and Jazzy uh, to Nashville, uh, flew us to Nashville and, you know, prepped us and did all that stuff. And they were like, OK, we, we were not going to tell the judges until like after um, and stuff. So I did my I did my I didn't wait. You know, I had the express line, you know, me and, you know, Ryan Seacrest, he, he came and grabbed me. And, you know, we mm. walked, you know, we hey, put up a show. Special guest appearance. Hey, I'll say what, what song do you sing? I mean, I remember I just remember there was there was Lionel Richie out there. I was like, that boy singing in front of Lionel. Yeah, <laughs> I, I sang uh, I Can't Make You Love Me. So yeah, I, I sang that. And man, give, uh, us a, give us a bar from that thing, man. Give us, how, how you popped it off oh, on the American man. Idol, man? How you popped it off, man? I can't make you love me if you don't. You can't let your heart feel something it won't. Came, I came in like that. Marvin! Tell him about that Chamley Watson. Stop, stop playing. He got his own move, bro. The man has his own move, bro. Yeah, so <laughs> fencing as we know it, right? It's very traditional. It's like kind of playing. And I was like, no, I'm way more offensive, way more aggressive. And I was like, I want to have some fun. I want to play more. So I was at the World Championships in Turkey. And a lot of fencing is like a lot of like infighting where I'm close to you. And if I touch you, the referee has to say halt, which means stop. And if I hit you too hard, we get a yellow card. And I'm like, man, man up. We're sword fighting here. What's a little chest bump? And I wrapped my arm around my head and I hit him, like the foil went around my head. I hit him right in his chest. And the referee was like, hold on. I never forget this. The referee stopped the match. Me and the guy that I beat, we watched it on the video replay together. And I was like, wow. And he's like, all right, this is the Chamley Watson move. Now I want to talk about Michigan State. Like, so you came in my house, you recruited me. You told me that you has to, used to have to run my dad down to get to class. You was calling my mom. Like, I, I, I still don't remember the exact story. I need you to like share with the people like this story. Mark's dad and Andre Risen were both from Flint. Flint Stones. And they were running, they were running buddies. And in those days, you know, back, this was in the early eighties, you could take as many credits of summer school to get eligible as, you know, you didn't have this, had to take 18 in the regular year and only could take six of summer school to get eligible. So these guys would end up needing, you know, 12, 15 credits of summer school to get eligible. And I was in charge of making sure that they went to class and did what they were supposed to do. Uh, well, I could never find Mark. I could never find Andre because they were always together running around. So the only way that I could find them was I knew Mark, Big Mark's girlfriend. And I would call her and say, hey, where's, where's Mark? And she would tell me and I'd go run him down, get him to go to class, get him to do what he wanted to do. But the problem was, is when I went, went in Mark's house right, to recruit him, I didn't know if Mark's mom right, was the same lady that I used to call <laughs> every Michigan State Department. Right. So I was kind of sitting there on pins and needles. Yeah. Not, <laughs> like, are you, are you my ace or are you, no, no, are you no, somebody no. new? No, then my mom was like, that was me. You used to call me. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're like, ah. Oh. I've been on you, family. Yeah, family. <laughs> Give me a hug. Thank you. <laughs> so that was that was the story, but it was I was a little nervous about that. I didn't know how to sort of navigate that. And she, yeah. Mark's mom, finally just kind of broke out laughing and said, that "Hey, me. that was me." <laughs> <laughs> you two eighty five in college, bro. I left high school two seventy five. I put on mm. all of twelve pounds since me being seventeen. That's wild. So when I got to college, I was 225. Oh. I was 6, 25, 227 my first day in college. You was you a What edge was you saying, Calais? What edge was you saying at 225? Bro, hey, hold on. I'm strong. No, I'm not skinny, bro. I'm strong. Hey, I had heart. That's for sure. I had heart. <laughs> the very first day going into the to meet up with the D-line, all the vets and stuff, they're looking at me like, bro, you play the end? They, they thought I was a receiver. They was laughing at me because I was so skinny, bro. No doubt. I was, I was in the other field kind of trying to cry. Man. I was in there sad as could be. Like, hold on, man. 
Things are coming out, coming out my neck, bro. I don't know it's the was in the white room the whole the whole first year in the white room. I'm sitting there, mm, yeah. yeah. Mm. And I was looking with the receivers, so I ain't gonna lie. I was looking with the receivers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in Hawaii though, man. Like, what's the culture like out there, man? The food, like what what, what that be on? Let me just tell you this. During during college, I learned my ways because like in the league, it hasn't happened to me because I, I learned. I went back right before our bowl game, all right. We had like 10 days, you know, at home before we had to go back to report for our bowl game. It was uh, like the Alamo Bowl. 10 days at home. Oh, shit. I gained 10 pounds. I played in the bowl game at 310. Whoa. And I Whoa. felt all 310. What y'all eating, though? You said you gained 10 pounds. Like, what, what, what's the traditional, like, food? Like My ideal breakfast, for real? Like, yeah. this is breakfast I'll cook on, like, my birthday. My wife will only let me cook it on my birthday because they'll stink up the house. Spam, rice, some scrambled eggs. And you remember Vienna sausage? Yep. Vienna sausage. Yep. Watchmen, like, if you ever, if you ever watch a TV show, you're like, you've seen the movie. I used to, like, my brother used to read, like, whatever it was on, books, comic books, whatever it was. So he put me on the Watchmen. So I saw the movie, and then they made the TV show. show. And what's funny to me is because, like, you know, it, it gave some events on where you were at. It started off with uh, Black Wall Street and, the, uh, and all the events that went out there. Yeah. It's funny to me, like, how many white people didn't know about Black Wall Street. And I'm like, mm. bro, this is the one of the biggest stains in the country. Like, nobody yeah. be talking. About Should a lot of black people didn't know about if it. I was, that's what I'm about to say. A lot of black people didn't didn't know about it too. You know, I think it was uh, just recently. It was the hundred year, a hundred year uh, yeah, on Memorial Day. Hey, on Memorial Day, yeah. and you know, as much as yeah. as much as I do stuff with the troops, the USO tours, all the other stuff, yeah. I wake up and I'm like, damn, today is the hundred year, and I, I'm I'm, yeah. I'm retweeting it. You know, some folks are like, what is that? Like that didn't really happen. Yeah. How do you yeah. like? How do you how do you figure? how do you deny or how do you even like? wake up in the morning and be like, no, like, that's not how you should feel about something. Like, bro, how are you going to yeah. tell me, like, not how, how not to honor the troops or whatever, but go ahead and skip this day. That just, that just tells you so much about, like, how, uh, where we're at in this country. About, about, <laughs> about how much, um, just how much power one, how much power someone has to have uh, to be able to erase a history like, like that. You know what I'm saying? To just right. completely... Not, know, to just not put it in so curriculum, not put it in history books. You, I didn't learn about it in school. You know what exactly, I mean? Exactly. That's not where we learned about it. You know, what I'm I learned about it, be, you know, from a conversation. You know, and then a Black Wall Street, and then you then you got to go and you know look it up and find it in the book or online and things like that. But definitely not in curriculum. And that was like that's a that's an evil, evil, violent act on Americans by Americans on American soil. Right. And it's so uh, easy. It was so easily um, just erased, you know, yeah. erased from history. So I, I was, I was, I was real, you know, proud of the show for, for bringing that back, um, you know, to the forefront of the conversation and and, and making that, you know, a part of uh, a part of the current, uh, the current history. Coming in, shoot, I got a chance to learn from like a lot of greats, which I think was awesome for my career. You had mm -hmm. Big Ziggy. Big Ziggy, shoot, Brett Kiesel. Aaron Smith, Casey Hampton, Troy mm. Palomalu. Uh, you had the chance to learn from some legends, like yeah. you know, Steelers teams, bro. Like, you know, you you guys had legends. I'll say, hey, hey, you can't forget, look, Big James Harrison. You know, learning from them was awesome. You know, then getting to play with them. Shoot, even my rookie year, like, everybody got hurt by the playoff game in the Denver game. So, like, we finished the game with three defensive linemen. And so, like, we just rotating and – trying to stay in the sub package because you need somebody to sub in. But <laughs> later on, just try to use what they gave me and make a career for myself. You gonna be a lifer? They gonna they gonna lifetime you or what, man? Hey, man, that's that's the goal. I want I want to stay a Steeler. Let's talk about you know before you know what I'm saying true freshman walk off touchdown national championship bling. Boy, big ring. That's a way to cap off a, a, a freshman campaign. Like, man, I want more playing time. We you need this story, though, home. Cam. We need this story, though. Yeah, give me that national championship action. It come down to the last series, and it was like my series to be in. So it was just like it's crunch time. Like, yeah, you you've been here, you've been doing this. We get there, they call the play. And the only thing on my mind was like, anytime it's a goal, but I'm just like, just throw it up. I'm a, I'm gonna go get it. So it was just like, I look at Tua like, man, look, give me a chance. And then I look back, the ball was in the air. 
So I'm thinking in my mind, like, okay, it's coming to safety probably running full speed over here. Yeah. It's just like, you gonna, you gonna have to take the lick. Yeah, so yeah. I look up, I look down, I'm like, okay, safety ain't nowhere to be found. Then I look back up, I was like, don't, you, don't f*** it up, don't drop the ball. <laughs> <laughs> And then it just happened. And then, like, my skull, just, like, everything went blank. Like, it was just crazy. For me, too, dog. I went blank, too. <laughs> I, was, I jumped off the couch. I said, ah, let's go. I was there witnessed it in Jacksonville. Hey, I might hey, I might have lost a little bit of money in 2015, but you'd have, hey, you'd have made up for it so much. It was really my fault. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I wasn't aware, and then I became aware. Yeah, yeah. Boy, worry. we got split don't that. Worry. We he got split he, that. He, he did that to 50,000. I don't know how many was in Jacksonville. He did that to 20,000 people in Jacksonville. Everybody in there hating. I'm in hey. there like, y'all got me messed up. We really out here like that. <laughs> how, how, how was it? How was it when, when bruh, the shot landed? How was bruh, it? Bro, bro, you can hear a rap song cotton in that mug. It was so quiet. <laughs> Except it for me. So well, I told y'all. Yeah, yeah, y'all got it <laughs> yeah. messed up. Y'all got the game twisted. That's the champ, man. That's the champ right there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, one of one of my best moments, and um, you know, I worked hard for that one, and and when it happened, it was like wow, surreal because they was hating, they was they hating, hating big time, yeah, Miami boys, so they was hating. 